As we critique um, our colonised ways, we must re-indigenise our spaces. And so tonight, really, for us, is about creating the conditions for us to have uncomfortable conversations. And Te Kurohuna is one of those spaces to do that. And, and to be able to use our creative magic, like the band in the background, and everyone else being able to contribute to the development of a song, because that's going to be really important. You have to have levity when you're talking about such difficult issues. Meredith Akuhata Brown, who we know is one of our councillors, who has stood up against racist behaviour in the council, and so her presence was really important. Demand that things should stop. Stop oppressing us. But allow us to actually figure out what we want for us. Because that's about Māori lead for Māori by Māori, but it's actually quite exciting because it's Māori. Change has come and it will come if we keep saying, stop doing that. Let me show you. Because we want that. We do want culture. I'm English, Russian, Scottish too. Can't deny those bits on my P, my B, B, B. But they're in me, you know. But it's really been there. I've noticed that the moralising of our generation to generation, there's got to be a time when we stand up together and be so proud of everything we are, what we've achieved without this darkness that keeps Glennis Phillips Barbara is, um, I mean, she's not just the chair of the Tide After the Arts uh, Festival, but she's um, chosen to take on a very important role uh, in the Ministry of Children, in the Commission, and being able to make sure that her workforce uh, reflects the needs for us in being able to improve uh, not just oranga, uh, tamariki behaviour, but improve all of New Zealand society behaviour in, in tiaki tamariki. The constitutional change piece is absolutely critical for us to move forward as a nation. Te Tiriti or Waitangi set out a very clear plan and that was for power to be shared, for not one group to be usurped by the other. I mean, colonisation happened, yes, uh, the usurping happened, yes, and we are still recovering from that, but we are recovering in massive strides. So yes, those of us in places where we do get to influence government, we're doing all we can over cups of tea, in formal meetings, in the media, wherever we can to influence this government to move toward that Te Tiriti or Waitangi partnership that our tipuna envisaged. But at an individual level, at a whānau level, we all have work to do as well to recover our knowledge. Ming Foon is with the Human Rights Commission, right? And they have this national action plan against racism. And so that was really important. It was lovely to hear um, his thoughts about the Constitution and the Treaty of Waitangi central to that. Actually, my role is maintaining and enhancing harmonious communities. And the only reason why we're here is because we have a problem. Otherwise, we wouldn't. And you know, um, just going through the uh, National Action Plan Against Racism, which is on the website, which has been um, an interesting journey because it was signed in 1972, the United Nations and the government, and it's taken 50 years, 2021, to actually have it on the Labour Party manifesto in Sakamihi Kita Party Labour to actually address the high goal of um, eliminating racism. If nothing happens, the only way out of this is actually through economics. Through each iwi building as much economics and having so much influence on the government's policies as much as possible that they will influence the change of policy. I'm a Ngāti Poro psychiatrist and I have lots to talk about in terms of decolonising our minds about what healing looks like. And we have to be careful because we're all struggling 
and it would be easy for me to perpetuate racism with the, with the therapeutic options that I offer you. So we have to really critique how we're being collectively. And so some of those messages that I'm sharing are from my connection with uh, my international uh, critical psychiatry network. And um, we're writing, we wrote a report that we released last week that's available on our website, mahiatua.com. And um, those messages in there are for our people. They're not academic notes. They're for all of us in our community to share across the table, across the dining table with our whanau.